Kairete, and welcome to the world that was. Today, I'll be making a dish recorded by the Greek writer Aristophanes, a simple brown lentil and leek soup. This is a very simple recipe and even has parallels with modern Greek dishes. In any case, let's take a look at the world that was. To begin making your soup, go pour some olive oil into a pot. Place this over a medium high heat while you go prepare your ingredients. Slice your washed leek into rings, each one about as wide as your finger. Then, go chop your onion in half and slice this into thin crescents. Or you can mince this if you want, it's up to you. Toss your chopped leek and onion into your pot when the olive oil starts to shimmer. Then, crush a glove of garlic into it all. Sprinkle everything with a bit of sea salt and freshly ground black pepper before putting the pot back onto a medium high heat for about 5 minutes. Keep this stirring occasionally to prevent things burning onto the bottom. While your pot is steaming away, go deal with your root vegetables. Cut your celery stalk into small pieces, each one about as big as your thumb. Then, go peel and chop your carrots and parsnips. As usual, I'm going to be using a mix of carrots and parsnips because the ancient Greeks didn't seem to differentiate between the two whatsoever. Plus, the two root vegetables go well together in soups like these. When your leeks and onions start to go transparent around the edges, go add your chopped vegetables. Put everything over a medium high heat for another 5 or so minutes just so they absorb some of the flavour from the cooked leeks and onions. Whilst they're cooking away, go rinse your lentils until the water runs clear. This is just to remove any grit or dust that may be present on them before you eat them. After about 5 minutes of cooking, go toss your now clean lentils into the pot along with about 750 milliliters of water, or a stock of your choice. Stir everything together before adding some dried rosemary and a couple of bay leaves. These two herbs have been frequently used around the Mediterranean world, which is based on contemporary Greek and Roman records, and so I imagine they would have been used on some of the tables in antiquity. Either way, pour about a tablespoon's worth of vinegar into the pot as well. Red or white wine vinegar would work best here, but apple cider vinegar would work in a pinch. In any case, put your pot back onto a high heat until it hits a boil. When it reaches a rolling boil, turn the heat down to low until it's only just simmering. Leave the simmering away uncovered for about 25 to 30 minutes. If your soup turns out looking a little dry, add a little bit of warm water to it. Your soup should be done whenever it looks like this. Garnish with a grand total of 12 whole coriander seeds, as suggested by Aristophanes, or just a pinch if you're a normal human being, and serve up. The finished dish is delightfully filling, and the addition of vinegar gives the whole thing a somewhat meaty flavour. The lentils, depending on how long you let them cook, give the stew a thick, chewy texture that works quite well. Aristophanes claims that 12 coriander seeds should be used to decorate this dish when you're serving it up, which is one of the few references to a garnish we have in antiquity, but is also an absurd level of accuracy when compared to contemporary archaic Greek recipes, so we can probably interpret this as being sarcasm. As lentil-based soups were held in high regard in ancient Greece, Aristophanes himself even defends the lentil as a delicacy, it is no wonder that the dish has modern parallels with Greek culinary traditions. A similar dish, called fakes, is made in Greece today, with the addition of tomatoes to the dish to round out the flavour profiles. However, I've excluded tomatoes from this recipe because tomatoes weren't native to Europe and were introduced to Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries as a result of colonialism in the Americas. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this look at the world that was. If you liked what I made, please consider supporting this channel by liking this video, or possibly even subscribing to me for some more ancient recipes.